Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you a few very interesting examples based on floating point numbers. Let us have first question over here. So if you observe first question, consider three floating point numbers A, B and C stored in resistors RA, RB and RC respectively as per I three seven five four single precision floating point format. The thirty two bit constant stored in these resistors are as follows. So here you see value of A B C that is there as per I three single precision floating point format. Which one of the following is false? So here some relations are given. So here my dear students, we need to identify the value of A B and C. So here you see that is given in hexadecimal form. So first of all, you will have to convert this in binary form, right? So here you see we are having 0x means hexadecimal representation, right? Then C means what? C means double 1, double 0, then 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1, then 4 means 0, 1, 0, 0, and then all zeros are there. So I am just giving extension with 0. Here, with RB, we are having 4, 2, 1, and then 0, 0, 0. So 4 means 0, 1, 0, 0, then 2 means 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 1 means 0, 0, 0, 1. That is how 4, 2, 1 is there. Then all zeros are there. So hexadecimal to binary, now zeros will be there, right? And now with this 4, 1, 4, 4 means 0, 1, 0, 0, then 1 means 0, 0, 0, 1. And again 4 means 0, 1, 0, 0 and all are 0, so 0 extension, that is how it is there, right? Now in this, we need to understand how format is there. See, format is as per first bit that is sine bit. So here you see first bit that is sine bit, right? 0 means positive sign and 1 means negative sign, right? So here I will be explaining you that here we are having negative sign and here we are having positive sign. After that, another 8 bits, that is representing what? That is representing bias exponent, right? And whatever value is there, from that, if you subtract it by 127, then you will be having actual exponent. See, bias exponent is 127 plus exponent, right? So here, we need to identify what is the exponent from next 8 bits. So if you observe here, next 8 bits, those are this, right? So if you see, 1 then 5 times 0, then 1, 0. That is how 8 bits are there, right? So this one, that is 128, and this one, that is 2. So 130, that is how total bias exponent is there. 130 minus 127, that will be 3. So here you can say, into 2 to the power 3, that will be actual exponent. You see now, similarly for these 8 bits, we need to identify how exponent is there. So you see this first one that is 128 and then you see this 100 means that is 4. So 128 plus 4 that is 132. So 132 minus 127 that is 5. So here exponent that is as per 2 to the power of 5, right? And as if you see this 8 bits, so that is representing what? Exponent only. Now here you see 1 then how many zeros are there? 5 zeros, then 1 zero. So 128, that is there with this 1, plus this 1 that is having 2. So 130, 130 minus 127, that is 3. So here, 2 to the power 3, that is how exponent is there. Into, now, this bits, that is representing mantissa. Remember this, right? So mantissa is what? 1 point something, that is mantissa. So 1 point here you see, 1 then zero zeros are there, so 1.1 .1 that I am writing. Then here, 1 point, you see double zero 1 is there, and here 1.1 1 .1 is there, right? That is how these values are there. So this is how we can identify the value from floating point representation, right? Now we need to understand what is this exactly, the value which is there with us, and then we can identify the relation, right? So here, as if I wanted to have the value of a. So what is this? That is minus value. And then you see 2 to the power 3 is there and 1.1 1 .1 is written. So 1, 1, double 0 as if I do this, then you see this point from here, 
that will be shifted by three digits over here means you can say double one double zero what is this this is minus 12 right now what is b b is 1.001 that is how it is there and it is plus so 1.001 that is how three bit shifting that will happen another two bits which are padded with zero that will make it to into two to the power five now what is the value of this you see this is as per 1, then 2, then 4, then 8, then 16, then 32. So, this one that is 32, this one that is 4. So, 32 plus 4 that will be 36. Now, my dear students, we are having RC that is giving you value of C. So, 1.1 into 2 to the power 3 that is 1100, right? As if you provide fraction by 3 digits, then you will be having point over here. So, that is plus 12, right? Now, we need to check for the relation. So, A plus C that is 0. You see, A is minus 12, C is plus 12. So, yes, this is correct. But we need to identify false statement. You see, C is equals to A plus B. A plus B, that will be giving you what? 28, right? And C is 12. So, this is false statement. Now, B is equals to 3C. Yes, B is equals to 3C, you see. So, this is correct statement. And B minus C should be greater than 0. You see B is 36 minus C is 12. So that will be 24 that is greater than 0. This is correct. So this is our correct answer as per false statement, right? So that is how we can solve questions. Let us have one more interesting question over here. So in next question, consider three floating point resistors RA, RB and RC that stores numbers as per I3 754 single precision floating point format. Assume that R1 and R2 contain the values as per hexadecimal digits that is given to us. If R3 is R1 by R2, then what is the value which is stored inside R3 as per I3 poly single precision format, right? So first of all, we need to identify the value, right? So here, what I'll be doing is, I'll be writing the value of R1. Now it is there in hexadecimal form. So I need to represent that in binary over here. So what is the value of 4? 0, 1, 0, 0. Then 2 means 0, 0, 1, 0. Again, 2 means 0, 0, 1, 0. And then all zeros are there. So I'm just giving extension as per 0. Now, what is the value of R2 that is given to us? C12, right? So C means 1, 1, 0, 0. Then 1 means 0, 0, 0, 1. Then 2 means 0, 0, 1, 0. And then all zeros are there. So this is how we are having that in binary form. Now here, we need to understand first what is the value of R1 and R2. So this first bit that explains you what? Sign. So this 0 means positive sign is there. This 1 means negative sign is there. Right. Now after that next 8 bits, you see this 8 bits that explains what? This 8 bits that explains you that exponent. Right. But you see that is having 1 then 4 times 0, 1, double 0, that is how it is there. So this first one, that is 128, and this one that is giving you 1, double 0 means 4. So 128 plus 4, that will be 132. 132 minus 127, that will be actual exponent. So that will be 2 to the power 5. My dear students, bias exponent is what? Bias exponent is actual exponent plus 127, right? So first of all, you'll have to identify what is bias exponent. Here you see first one that is 128 and then this one 100 means this is 4 so 128 plus 4 132 minus 127 that is how 5 which is our actual exponent so I need to write 2 to the power 5 here and you see this is giving you exponent over here with R2 so this 8 bits you see 128 plus 2 130 so 130 minus 127 so that will gives you 3 so here 2 to the power 3, that is how value will be there. Now, this is giving you mantisa, right? This is giving you mantisa. So, into 1.01 into 1.01 that I need to say with both, right? Mantisa means what? 1 point something that is mantisa. So, 0, 1, then 0, 0 are there. So, I am not writing it. So, with both, value will be as per 1.01 over here, right? So, this is how we are having value of R1 and R2. Now, if you observe here, what is the question? Question is R3 that is given as per R1 by R2. 
So if you divide this, then what will happen? It will be giving you negative answer and that will be 1.00. See both of this that will get cancelled into 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 5 divided by 2 to the power 3 that will give you 2 to the power 2, right? That is how it will be there. Now I need to represent this in form of I3754 single precision format, right? So how to do that? You see, first bit that is representing sign. Let me mention that S bit minus means it should be 1. Then next 8 bits that will be bias exponent. Now bias exponent that will be this exponent plus 127. So this is 2 plus 127 means it should be 129. Now how to have 129? So for that my dear students again let me explain you how to write that. You see 1, 2, 4, 8, then 16, then 32, 64, then 128. That is how 8 bits will be there. Right. Now here to have 129, first of all 128 that you need to make it to 1. 128 plus 1. So 1 over here and the rest bits that should be 0. Right. That is how we can have bias exponent that is 129 for this. Right. And then we will be having mantisa of 23 bits. So here mantisa is what? The digits which is there after one point something. So those are zeros over here. So all zeros are there. Right. So that is how we are having this number. So this is our answer. Right. But answer is not given in form of binary. You see over here it is given in form of hexadecimal. So how to identify that? So for that my dear students all you need to do is you need to make a pair of 4 bits. So you see this 4 bits that is 1, 1, 0, 0. So that is C. Then another 4 bits are 0, 0, 0, 0. So that is 0. Then another 4 bits that will be as per 1 then triple zero so that will be eight and all are zero so zero 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 that is our hexadecimal data that will be there with us so c zero eight then five zeros so c zero eight then five zero this is our correct answer so that is how you'll have to identify the number which is there in hexadecimal form i hope it is clear to you still if anything that you would like to share it with me please note it down in the box i'm happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video